Hey, this is Dr. Jeff Anzalone from DebtFreeDoctor.com. And today I want to walk you through the process of how I got my tax ID number or EIN number from the IRS for my first online business. Now, we also do this every time that we purchase a new RV park, mobile home park, or any type of real estate. Now, this process takes just a few minutes. And once you complete it, you'll be able to use your EIN number the very same day to open up a business account. And the best part, it's completely free, no upfront costs. I was actually able to print out my documents right away when I completed it online. And now I go back and I remember when I started my dental practice more than 20 years ago, and I remember my, that my CPA did this for me and they made it seem like it was some sort of long drawn out complex task at that time. And looking back, I'm sure they charged me for it too, but it's not complicated at all. And I'm going to show you step by step how to do it for free. Now, remember, I'm a periodontist, not a CPA, not a tax professional, anything like this. So please don't take this as professional financial or tax advice. All right, let's get into it. How you can set up your tax ID number for free now. All right. So we're going to start off on the IRS page, irs.gov, and I'll actually put a link to get to it below this video if you want to check it out. And you can do a couple of things. You can go to file and you can go over here to apply for your employer ID number or to make it easier. They've actually put it right here. How can we help you? And right here, apply for an employer ID number, EIN number, click it. And it's got three, three steps. First thing is to determine your eligibility. And it just basically just says you, you've got to be located in the United States, which I'm sure you are. Then you've got to step two, understand the online application. The, the thing is for, I guess, security purposes, they want you to come, they want you to complete it within one session and it's, and it'll, they'll basically give you 15 minutes to do it. So it'll, it'll expire after 15 minutes of inactivity. And then you just submit your application. So we click here apply online and then it gives you this warning you know this is government use authorized information only you can read all that if you want to and then it tells you a little bit about it you know do you need an ein and we can we can show you about that so we we talked about if you want to start a new business if you've hired new employees now we every time like i mentioned anytime we open up a new business or we open up uh, we, we buy a property uh, we will we will open up a new bank account a business account so anytime you open up a new bank business account they're going to want your ein number and you basically just give them that number whatever the name of your business is going to be if it's like an llc or, or whatever and that's all you need you just send you can literally email that to the bank and then there's some other things on here that you can read about so that's that's do you need an EIN and then do you need a new one? Uh, we're, we're not going to go over that. So this just kind of walks you through uh, a little bit of the, the thing. And you basically you just click here, begin application. Now it's going to ask you what type of legal structure that you want. Again, don't take this as financial advice. Speak to your accountant or if you have an, an attorney, you could be a sole proprietor. Uh, if you're getting a partnership, most of ours are this limited liability. Then you got a state and trust. So you literally just, let's say we're going to do limited liability, click on continue, and it'll actually tell you what, what a limited liability is. And it's, it's definition, tax purposes, that sort of thing. Now, if you go, oh, well, wait a minute, I, I don't want to do this. I want to do something else. Just hit the back button. And then you can go here to, let's say you're just going to be a sole proprietor. It's just going to be yourself or maybe somebody in your household with you. And let's say, hey, uh, it's just going to be you. You're opening up a, a new business, online business. You just click here, hit continue. Again, it, it tells you what this is. Your business owned by you, one individual, can't be incorporated, this and that. Again, just get just get your um, attorney or CPA to talk about it. Then we're gonna then you're gonna pick the reason why you're doing this. More than likely that you started a new business. There's some other things as well, but that's that's probably gonna be the the, the thing that you're going to be doing. All right. Now, so for here, I'm not going to be able to, to go any further than this just because of the, the information that we'll be putting in, but you can simply go through here and put in your name, your last name, your social security number. You're going to be the one to do it hit continue. It's going to walk you through to, to do the address, 
any other details. And then at this last step, it'll give you, it'll, it will go ahead and give you, after you've completed all this, it will give you the, your new EIN number. And you can actually print that out. I actually just save it on my computer in a drop, drop, Dropbox folder, send that to the bank and just email them and say, hey, look, Mr. Banker, here's my new business net that we want to do, or here's the new LLC that holds the property. Here's the EIN number. Please open up a business checking account. That's it. Takes less than 15 minutes to do. It's free and you do it at the IRS website. So again, this is, this is what it takes to how you can get your tax ID number for your business for free, also called EIN number. Hope this helps. Check you in the next video.